this is something that I think every single parent will identify with. Some of them will shy away from this topic because they feel too embarrassed to discuss this with their kids. But I think it is really important that every single parent go out there and talk to their kids about sex. The reason I say this is because there's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of uh, chatter that goes on in teenage circles, for example, where um, things are discussed that may not be correct, uh, may come from a very immature perspective. Maybe there are more mature perspectives to it, more wisdom, more experience that goes into those perspectives that could be shared. Of course, the choice is theirs eventually as to how they take it and what they do with that. My daughter, Ali and me, um, I hope can discuss the topic of sex without much confrontation or uh, embarrassment. Wait, what do you mean discuss the topic of sex? Like what I mean is for example if I say Alia, can I talk to you about safe sex? Uh, how, what, how would you feel? Just generally, not specific to anyone or anything. Yeah, just generally. Yeah, so if I tell you for example Alia, um, you know I think it's really important uh, that uh, you know if in your coming years you know when you are sexually going to be really really aware uh, and experimental perhaps um, that you uh, practice safe sex use condoms for example if you have to have sex be safe uh, would you come to me perhaps for tips on what kind of contraception to use or what kind of measures to take no why don't you put tips what no, why, why would you not come to me for tips i mean i'm your mom i've been for 45 years no, on i think you can find everything you need on google honestly but I you can want to source them you're more than set. Okay, so so suppose so okay, the Google is fine. Google is fine for information on contraception. Chalo, I give you that. Okay, if you don't want to discuss contraception with me. Fine, you know the concept of con contraception. You know it exists. You know the need for it. That's the important part. Okay, how about the fact that maybe you get to a relationship where perhaps the guy um, has sex with you and you forgot to use contraception? Then would you come to me? You can. How can you just forget to use contraception? No, it was a heat of, after that. No, it's like if there's a, if there's like the that's heat protection. Contraception is when you take the next day, right? No, like condoms. Yeah, that's, is that what you have sex and use condoms the next day? And no, 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 this no. is what I mean. No. This is the problem. No, no, this no, is why I need condoms. That's why people no, say the next day. That's what? contraception. And the contraception is what prevents conception. So therefore, a condom is contraception. Yeah, so what is an I pill? Contraceptive pill? No, I pill is something you take continuously, say for a, a pill. Okay, the oh, pill. One second, you're is saying I pill is something you take continuously. No. You the are missing part of the pill. I just tell you what I pill. I know what I pill. I know what I pill. I know what I pill. I pill is a contraception. No, I pill is an emergency measure that in the eventuality that you forgot. One second. No. In the eventuality that you forgot to use contraception, it will force abort a fetus or force abort something which is bad for your system. So, what is called the word? It's called is. The next, it's not. It's, it's not, called the morning. It's called the contraceptive. It's called the morning after or whatever. It's called, you can we Google this? No, what's it? I need to prove second. that it's called the contraceptive no, no. before you make me feel just, like an idiot okay. for calling what it. I'm saying it is, is called the contraceptive. Okay. What I'm saying yeah. to you is the need to not have to the next day. Okay, couple of things. One is pregnancy and one is disease. Two separate things. Okay. If you have sex unprotected yes, mother, and I'm unprotected, and the next day diseases, I know. and contraceptive can't save that. Contraceptive in the exactly. morning after I pill. Yeah, I guess it can't, I know, it can't I know save that. You can't do everything, and I know it without you telling me. So okay, just okay. So suppose you forgot to use a condom, okay, or, or, or a means of contraception with a guy, for example, for example, okay, and uh, it's the next morning now. I feel of course is something you take as an emergency procedure immediately. Like oh my god, I made a big mistake. I don't want to get pregnant. Fine, fair enough. But would you call me as a mom? What are the other things that could happen to me? Or how can I prevent disease? Or you know, at what stage should I go for a checkup? Or perhaps ask, ask the guy to go get certain checkups to see does he have HIV? No. Or does you know? No. These are real things. Why would you not? I would. I could talk. No. Why would you not? Stop. No, no. It's weird. What's weird? HIV is a bloody reality. I'm not the rate is spreading. And there's no cure. Why would you want to risk your life? I'm just saying. No, guys, me out no, one sec. Firstly, these are not things that a parent could ever calm down about. Firstly, uh, because it's really, really important that when you give birth to a child, you want to see them protected and see them healthy and living uh, at least longer than you live, right? In general, that's a parent's desire and wish. Um, in which case, I would say that Alia, if you ever have to get into a sexual encounter with anybody, and by God forbid you forget or or it's a heat of the moment or whatever, uh, the most important thing to do is first ask him to get tested. 
or get yourself tested for HIV and please make sure that's out of the way. Then it's a dramatic thing to do. It's not. I need a dramatic thing to do. I mean, it's better safe than sorry. Very dramatic thing to do. Very because you know what happens is really cautious thing to do. Because what happens is, Alia, you may not realize you've been infected, then you may go infect somebody else in your next encounter. So no, it's not 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 at all. You have to be safe because it's not about like you made a mistake. The fact is, you may spread it to somebody else. Are you asking me a question? You said, would you come to me and throw me? I said, no. Are you asking me a question? So I'm glad. So I'm very glad that we've had this conversation but because there's clearly a need for you to come and but talk I to me about all this. But I won't. After this discussion, I think you see the merits of actually talking to me about sex. But stuff. I won't. That's very sad. Okay, so what would you discuss with me about your sex life? I wouldn't. I something. I wouldn't. Like say for example, when I, um, when uh, me and my mom, like we were really close with our sex lives. So it's yeah. like I say, no, I cannot hear what my mother and grandmother said. No, I'm walking out. No, I'm no. My mother. No. My mother, when I was like about 15, I think I was like your age. I was like 15, 16 years of age. Okay, my mother takes me to a room and says, "I want to show you something." So she takes me to the room and she opens a drawer and she shows me a vibrator. Okay, so I don't she, know, I can't. my mother did this to me. I, I had the, I had the same reaction. God. I had the same reaction. Oh my God! I had the same reaction. I had the same reaction. Even I turned around. Okay, so I know I understand how you're feeling because so I felt the same way. Me. No, no, one second. But I'm just saying at the same time there are things that I could discuss. So, so say for example, I come back home and uh, that maybe there's a little lump bite on my neck, and she look at me and say, "What's that mark in your head, a neck?" And I'd be like, "Mommy, I have to tell you all about it." And she'd be like, "No, you know, no, I don't want to know." And I said, "No, mom, let me tell you." And she said, "Pooja, no, I don't want to no. know." And I'd be so happy no. to share with her that there's somebody no. else. For my life or whatever. That is But terrifying. Why would you do that? That's terrible. I love to share with my mother. I would never do that ever. I didn't want her to share with me, but I wanted to share with her.